Good morning and welcome to our gems today. Welcome to all of these jewels. Go straight to the heart. Today we're going to study Philippians 4, 8 and we're going to talk about praise and thinking. Praise and thinking. Well, praise is calmly for the upright. And people, don't get me wrong, but it's a wrong saying. I hate it to be repeated in church. When praise goes up, blessings come down that is not true that is false when righteous praise go up or obedient praise go up then blessings will come down for uh, praise is commonly for the upright but it's not for those who are not upright or living right i don't care how you praise god you cannot sin shut up and uh, enjoy the blessings of God at the same time. There's an incongruence in your spirit. I guarantee it will haunt you. You may feel good for a while. And this is the reason why so many people uh, feel good in church, probably shout and get home and lose all of it. The Bible says, if there be any praise, in other words, uh, a praise is a short word for appraisal. Your idea of God is your appraisal of God, which comes out in praise and worship of God. For example, if my house is worth $100,000, I'm not going to sell it for $40,000. And if you order me, you offer me $40,000, I'm going to shun you because I know the value of my house. How many, how many of us know the true value of our great omnipotence omnipresent, omniscient, sovereign, providential, merciful, good God who watches over us. Not many. So if you do, you will praise Him. Proper praise. The Bible says, praise Him in the morning. Praise Him until the sun go down. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, every creature, every creation should praise God. Now, praise means you can lift him up in song, you can lift him up in word, you can lift him up in action. I believe the greatest thing we in our praise is to live right before God. God said, oh man, I've shown you uh, what you should do. You should live right and uh, live justly before the Lord. Now, if you praise, the Bible said, Think on these things. In other words, all the things above. You're kept for nothing. You're rejoicing in the Lord. And uh, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. In other words, thinking has a lot to do with it. meditating. On God's word. In other words, you will meditate on God, the goodness of God, meditate on uh, the justice of God, meditate on the providence of God, uh, meditate on the love of God, meditate on the peace of God, and meditate on God Himself. How good He has been to you. How was it that God brought you from where you were until where you are now? He could have took taking his hands off of you when we were sinners when we were yet sinners god brought us on over and we should ever praise him and ever thank him in jesus name if there be any virtue any praise think on these things father help me to keep my thinking clear and to think on philippians the entire fourth chapter in jesus name i pray amen 